We are receiving every miracle that we desire this day. Begin to prophesy to today's meeting. Oh, Rabbi Haya. That there is going to be a, an avalanche of miracles. Oh, Satalabaya. Oh, Rabbi Babaya. The blind eyes will be open. The lame will walk. Oh, so Talabaya. The poor have the gospel being preached unto them. Pray for today's meeting. Oh, so Talabaya. That the name of our Lord Jesus Christ will be glorified. In today's meeting. Bandoro Bo Shatab. Ika Talabaya. Le Bo So Talabaya. Rabbi Babaya. From today's meeting. Many shall be made free. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Bozo Talabaya, Rabba So Telababa, Robo Bobo Bobosha, from today's meeting, many shall be comforted. Bazo Takabasha, Rebo So Takabaya, from today's meeting, the spirit of man will be renewed. Monto Kabasha, Rabba So Taya, the wisdom of God will be imparted into our spirit. Bozo Talababaya, whatever miracles that you need, Bozo Talabaya, from today's meeting, Bazo Takabasha. Rebo so taya, we see miracles everywhere. Bo so takaraba, le baba baba yam, le bo so talaba. From today's meeting, shall be testimonies, testimonies, testimonies. Bo so takabaya, rebo bo 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 sha, randa da basote, bo ba sha taya, iba rabasote, ro bo 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 sha, rabasata, rebasata kabasha, bo rabase kata, iba randa da bo sha, ba randa dezo zo ba rababa, ida la 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 bo 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 sha, ba randa dezo rababa sha, ikata la ba ba zo rababa sha, bo rondo ro bo 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 sha, ida la ba 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 sote, ikata la ba zo rababa sha, bo randa de mando ro bo 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 sha, rega do ze ba randa da, ita ka pa 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 sa ta, iba randa do do bo 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 sha, re ba 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 ba, iba randa sa, iba randa sa, bo randa sa ta, iba randa sa, randa ba ba sha, ita la ba sa ta, iba randa sha. Rabasata, we see demons checking out today in the name of our Lord Jesus. We see the blind eyes being opened. We see the mute speaking. Bo so takata ya, ibrada baba baya. We see the lame walking again. Bo so talabaya. We see deaf ears hearing again. Bo so takabaya, raba baba sata. We see heart of man being comforted again. Bo so takabaya in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bo so talaba, raba baba sham. Le katos go tolo bobo bosha re pante kata rababa i kata la baba she ba rada do santo la ba i kato lo poro poro bobo bosha rada dezo rababa rada da 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 bosha kaka pa re baba baba she raba so taka ta i ba rada do bosha rada deze baba baba rada do bobo bobo bosha da da i kata la baba zo rababa i ba rada da do ze baba baba 
Rabasha, Le Catana Bazo Rabasata, He got a doze Baba Baba, He Catana Baba Bazo Dalababa, He got a doze Braga Dezo Rabasha, O Rababaya, Le Tacato Santa Rabase, Mando Robo Bobo Shadana, He Catana Baba Zo Rabasha, E Parodo Rodo 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 Rodo, O Shataka Barabaye, Barabasotaya, Barabasota, we shall testify from today's meeting, O Shalababaya. E bato kato rababa so rababa rababa basata le bosha talaba re baso talaba sha rabaso ta rabasha ta le talaba sata le baba basha robo basata rababa baya re baso ta ka rada dosa talaba bosha barada dozo robo bobo bobo rada de bato robo shata ka ikade moto robo sha re baso to ka ya rada dada ba e katala baba sha e talaba sha barada Dose bragade, mando robo bobosha, recada no sote, bosha taya, e catalabasha, e patalabaso talabasha, e parabaso talabasha, e parabaso talabasha, e baza barabasha, o rabaso tacata, e cada robo bosa tarabase, parabasote, parabaso talabasha, parada dosa talabasha, o rada deso rabasha, parada dose bragada dosha, e baza rabasha. He barabaso tala basha. He katala baba baso te. Bosha la baba. He tala baba baso te. Barabaso tala basha. He kate mando robo sata. He bala baba bobo 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 sha. Barada da 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 baso rabasha. He katala baba basha. He baraba basha. Barada de ya. Bau robo bobo sha ya. He tala baso rabasha. He barada da robo sata. He barada doze baba baba. Oto lo bobo bobo sha. Again, we are thanking God for the praise at home with our man of God, Reverend Chris. We are thanking him for the impact of praise at thorn around the world. We are thanking God for the word of wisdom that came to us, the corrections and directions that came to us through praise at thorn and also the global day of prayer. Lift up your voice and thank God for the impact of these two programs around the world. Oh, Sir Talabaya, we are praying. That through this program, many, many shall come to the knowledge of Christ. Bo San Talabaya. We thank God for many souls that we're able to reach. Bo San Talabaya. Through a global day of prayer and also praise and tongue with our man of God, Reverend Chris. Lift up your voice and thank God for the impact of these two services around the world. Manto Sataya. Iparadarobo Shataya. Rebo Bobobo Sataya. Oh, Rebaba San Talababa Shah. Rada Dada Bazo Rababa Shata. Le Bazo Delebo Shataraba. Oh, Rabababasha, Rabababaya, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is spreading. Father, we thank.
thank you baso talabaya that true out motolo babo shataya this week man talababaya our gospel has spread into many continents and nations baso talababaya oh rabasataya rebababaya we see the harvest of these two programs oh shantala babaya and many are trooping in into our churches all around the world oh so talababaya we thank you father for the knowledge for the wisdom that came out to us father we thank you oh nabaya sata for the abilities that you granted us to pray oh so talababaya for all nations for all leaders for all continents for all kingdoms oh santala babasha oh rabasete rabababasha From our churches, we are reaching the world. Father, we thank you this day. We worship you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Shout glory. Once again, I welcome you to our special Easter miracle service with our highly esteemed group pastor, Pastor Kofi Blanksin. You are all welcome. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Thank you, Ma. Can we invite the choir to come and minister to us? Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
to thank my man of God, Pastor, to take this rapture day for today. Hallelujah. Today is Sunday, 31st of March, 2024. And our theme is, we hail from deity. Say, I hail from deity. I hail from deity. We are taking our verse from John chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Our man of God is telling us today that there is a misconception of the meaning of the phrase, ye are of God, in the verse above. To some, it means to be on God's side, but that's not correct. The Apostle John's construction isn't in any way ambiguous. So it isn't about being on anyone's side. It simply means you hail from deity. Say again, I hail from deity. In other words, your origin In other words, your origin is in God. You are his offspring. It's akin to what the Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 18. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. To hear from God, therefore, Christ must be in you. Say, Christ is in me. You must receive him to live in you. Recall the words of the Lord Jesus in John chapter 3, verse 3. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The concluding phrase of our opening verse gives credence to this. It says, greater is he that is in you. So he has to be in you. Think about it. He gave birth to you to live in you. 
The Bible says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Say, Christ in me, the hope of glory. You have absolute victory over all forces of darkness and the wicked spirit that orchestrates evil because of the greater one that lives in you. Read how beautifully the Amplified renders our opening verse. Little children, ye are of God. You belong to him and have already defeated and overcome them, the agents of the Antichrist. Because he who lives in you is greater, that is mightier than he who is in the world. Praise God. You have overcome the adversary and their nefarious and sinister plans to cause untold hardships, troubles, sorrows, distresses, and corrupting influences in the world because you heal from deity. Hallelujah, I heal from deity. Shall we rise and take our confessions? Kindly repeat after me. Dear Father, I boldly proclaim that I have overcome all the forces of darkness and wicked spirits that orchestrate evil plans in the world because I hail from God and the greater one lives in me. I have overcome the sorrows, distresses, and corrupting influences in the world. I am victorious always in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we speak in tongues? Hallelujah. Rabba Sata Kayaba. Lima Shakaba Libros de Keba Shantayaba. Lava Zakayaba Libros Dota Kayaba. Lako Zonzen Tayaba Libra Shakayaba. We heard from Daisy. Hallelujah. Raka Sata Kayaba Libra Zataya. Raka Zokayaba Lava Shantayaba. the Lord at this moment
welcome each and everyone this morning. You are welcome this morning. Uh, I want to use this great opportunity to thank our man of God, Pastor Kofi Blancy. Uh, it's a week of the altar, and we are come to have a small discussion on that. Thank you. Please, can you have a seat? Uh, please, I want to invite uh, Auntie Betty, Brother Everlasting, Mr. Peace and Mr. Charity. Glory! Uh, thank you, Pastor Sir. Auntie Betty, uh, you want to tell us your experience during the week on the altar. Thank you, Pastor Sir, for the opportunity to share my testimony. Uh, on the week of the altar, the altar your experience during the. In program. fact, I would say that program was ordained by heaven for me, especially for me, because by then I had, <laughs> uh, should I say, a serious challenge that I needed God's intervention. So when that day, at the first day, I brought my prayer request before the Lord to the last day of the prayers. And thank God that in the last day, Pastor prophesied, he gave a prophetic declaration that our prayers have been answered. And in fact, he mentioned the very thing that I was uh, asking God for. And before the prayer, I said to God, I, I said to myself, I was given a date, a set time. And I said, before that set time, God has answered my prayer. And Hallelujah. And behold, yesterday, today is the set time. And yesterday, God answered speedily. And I give God the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you are seated here and you know, when we are having that program, we week on the altar and you are not around. Remember that today you can receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, Brother Everlasting, can you tell us your experience? Thank you, Pastor Sir, for giving me this opportunity. And thank you, Pastor Ma. A week on the altar was uh, power packed. You know, it's days. We've journeyed into the throne room of God. Hallelujah. We've been praying, sir. We've been praying, but these eight days has caused us to shift things in the realms of the spirit. Hallelujah. And myself, I feel it and I know it. Yes. Because it has, you know, renewed my mindset about myself and the people around me. Hallelujah. It makes me see life as spiritual. I've been hearing it, yes. but it becomes so real for me yes. that everything that you can achieve in this universe you have to achieve it in the realms of the spirit before it can, it can manifest. Yes. So, that is not all. Uh, whilst during the eight days, God showed me a vision concerning my sister. And it was about, you know, a money contract. So, God told me that somebody wanted to ask him for an amount of money. But I should tell him not to give the person the money. So, I was very reluctant. I wasn't praying for her or about her before, you know, the voice came. So I was very reluctant telling her about this. But it was so intense in my spirit until I, you know, broke forth the, the, the box and then tell her what God told me. Some few weeks later, no, days later, she called me that somebody she knew, who is a man, was asking her for an amount of money to invest into, you know, some land business and all that. Then I told her that, I've told you already, don't give the money to the person. So later on, 
she was telling me that she gave an amount to the person already. And when, he, when she asked the person what is going on about the business and all that, the person will not, he will just snub her. I didn't know anything about that. So since I, you know, give her information about this next one, she, you know, put it to work and then she didn't give the money. Now, she realized the reason why uh, God gave me that voice to tell her. So thank you very much. Sir. Hallelujah. Tell your friend, what are you waiting for? Thank you, Lord. Mr. Peace, can you tell us your experience? Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor, sir, for the opportunity. On, uh, on the week on the altar was so amazing to me. Personally, I was going through some challenges that need some answers. So during that, those times, I, I wasn't so focused on the prayer, but uh, it was eight days. So it was lengthy. So I, before the end of the prayers, I got the answers that I was looking for. Amen. And the last day, pastor laid hands on us, and that was all. Hallelujah! Oh, thank you. Please, Tashayat, you can tell us your experience. Yes, thank you, Pastor, sir, for the opportunity. Thank you, Ma. Um, I really want to appreciate Pastor for bringing up that program for us. And actually, in the one week on the altar, I really prayed for, number one, the Teens Church, which I was praying for God to make us enlarge and make our population grow and make us do impossible, impossible things for the gospel. And I was, I was praying, and I was seeing the vision of the Saints Church. And glory be to God, in the vision, we get, we are, our population is going to be much and fill the auditorium. By the time of our next Saints Conference, our population is going to be massive. Hallelujah. And we start doing the impossible things on the zone, everywhere around the world. They are going to say, ah, Faith Lego and um, Faithland Saints Church has grown so much. Glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the secondly, Pastor mentioned, he said, all the old things you have lost is being restored. And glory be to God, it has been restored unto me back. And I'm so happy about it. And I thank God for my family. The prayer I was praying for them on the walk on the altar was just manifest. It was like a miracle. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll just take a testimony from Brother Everlasting. Just one minute testimony. During the week on the altar. Mr. Peace. Just one word. On the week on the altar. All right. So, uh, this is my testimony. Uh, during the week on the altar, uh, I was receiving money and Money that I was not expecting. It just keep on coming. And I want to use this great opportunity to thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And also, we want to thank God for this great opportunity on the week on the altar. It's a great testimony for each and everyone here. And also, thank you, Pastor, for this opportunity. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, I can't hear you. Praise the Lord. Can I see your hands in the air? Can I see your hands? Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to use this opportunity to thank my man of God, Pastor Kofi Blancin, for this wonderful opportunity to anchor a talk show. The following people are to join me on set. Sister Adobia, please, if you are here. Brother Sam, Sister Ivy, and Mr. Nunu. Oh, please, shall we clap for them as they mount of stage? Amen. You know, the Lord has been so good to us. Today is 31st March. 
2024. Oh, I thought you would clap for Jesus. God has been so good. He has taken care of us from January till now. We are safe and sound. What do we tell God? Or what do we say to Jesus? Yeah, so today we are having a beautiful time with the Lord. And I want to ask my panelists a few questions. That, please, just one minute. What are your expectations for this program? Because the program is EMS which is Easter Miracle Service. And we know our man of God, when he says miracle, you understand. So, Mr. Nunu, talk to us. What is your expectation for this program? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor, for this opportunity. My expectation for this program is that I want the manifold grace of God upon Pastor to rest upon me. Hallelujah. Yes. His uh, dedication to the gospel, ah. commitment, how he prayed five hours, ah. he's giving. Ah. Shabaya. Ah, yeah. I want that grace hey. to rest upon me. Yes, today. So I'm expecting that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, madam. Thank you so much. I would like to use this opportunity to thank our man of God. I highly esteem Pastor Kofi for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Esteemed chairman, sir. Okay, so um, as the theme goes, it's Easter Miracle Service. So that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting miracles. Hallelujah. I'm expecting miracles in my life, in my finances, even in my health. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I've, I've worked on it in prayers, and I know I'm receiving it today. I'm connected to the altar this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She's very expectant. Yes, madam. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Um, you know, uh, during the week on the altar, Pastor gave a word that we've entered into a new phase and a new level. So uh, with this Easter miracle service, my expectation is that I'm occupying with him. Ah. I'm entering that new level and a new phase. Hallelujah. In every aspect of my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Yes, brother. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Um, I would like to thank my pastor, Pastor Kofi Blanson, for the opportunity. And thank you, Pastor Ma. Thank you, esteemed chairman. Um, our pastor has been amazing. Most of the things that have happened in my life, in my life he... He has given prophecies, and when I, I caught a hold of it from the congregation, they happened. So this program being a miracle service, I'm not expecting any less. I'm expecting everything that I prayed for during the one week on the altar. I, I wanted some, some edge okay. to pray for long without feeling tired, like, I don't care whatever time it is, wherever I have to be. I wanted that edge to be created. And during the eight days on the altar, that edge came. Wow. And when I pray, I don't get tired. Congratulations. Again. And the things I was praying for in, during those prayers, God has answered all of them. Hallelujah. And there was a timeline God gave me my life in April. He said something special will happen to me in April. Wow. And this program is happening today, just a day before April. <laughs> My mind is made up. Thank you, Pastor Sir. Glory! Are you expectant today? Are you very expectant? Please prepare your mind, prepare your heart. As the man of God mounts the stage, just look on him. Peter said, he said look on us. Just look on the man of God. Whatever word he tells you, take it, accept it, and it will work in your life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we invite the choir to come and take over? Lord. Praise the Lord. 
why don't we be upstanding as we worship? Hallelujah. You are my peace. In you I found my rest. In you there's
Jesus. Yeah, the name of Jesus. Your word is truth and life. Your Lord Jesus, your word is truth and life, your word is truth and life, your word never fails, never fails me.
speak in tongues lift your hand to the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues at this moment for the Lord is here mightily with his angels with his spirits we shall never remain the same as we came speak in other tongues speak as loud as you can speak in other tongues speak in other tongues speak in other tongues speak in the Holy Ghost I want to hear you praying. We came to receive a miracle. Sharbaka sekira masoko robo sharababa sitis. La rabaka sekira mandan la masata karaba sitiki laya. Open your mouth and speak. You will never live here the same as you came. Open your mouth and speak. The sickness is healed. The disease is healed. The infirmity is gone. Open your mouth. Every miracle you need, open your mouth and announce it. Your financial miracle. Your body miracle. Every form of miracle, announce it now. It has started already. The miracle has started already. Announce it. It's a miracle service. It's a miracle service. You will never live here as you came. Open your mind and pray. Jesus is here. The Holy Spirit is here. Open your mouth. This is your day. This is your day. Jesus is here for you. He died and he rose just for you. Roka barra makoso to robo bosha tara baba raka sete le katara bosha tara baba shada baba ba le kababa robo so mato robo shara ba le kababa robo masha taba masha raba e katara mama robo shara mama shara ba e katara bara robo masha la masha raba e kababa robo masha la masha raba e kabara basha raba robo shara. Lift your hands, everyone lift your hands and speak in the Holy Ghost. Roko Torobo, Roka Tarababa Seteke Babaraba, Leka Tarababo Shotarababaraba Shatabaha, Leke Terebaba Shadababaha, Sekerababa Sarabaraba Shadaba, Leke Terebo Shorababa Kandalabaya, Loko Parababa Shadabo Shalaba. Declare that miracle. I join my faith with you. The Lord Jesus is here, is healed. The body pain is gone. Your eye, put your hands now where you need a miracle. Put your hands right now where you need a miracle. On your knees, on your eyes, on your ears, where you need a miracle. Put your hands there right now. The power of the Holy Ghost go through your body now. Alone, I adore. I worship you forever. Son of the most 
Okay. Now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, put your hands where you need a healing now. The Lord Jesus is here. Man taka da la mazo fredes. Le grana na maso tokro da baba kosa telebes. Ranto soto rande rebosha. I command that infirmity to come out of your body now in the name of Jesus. Your blindness is gone. Open your eyes and begin to see. Your deafness is gone. Open your ears and begin to hear. Your limbness is gone. Begin to walk now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Many of you are receiving financial miracles. Receive your financial miracles in the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus is here. He has started doing his work. He has started doing his work now. You'll be shouting of his glory. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. He's here with his angels and his presence. Begin to check your body. That pain is gone. That infirmity is gone. That pain is gone. That infirmity is gone. Give the Lord a shout. He has healed you. He has healed you. Give the Lord a shout. He has healed you. He has healed you. He has healed you. Oh, We glorify you. We thank you. We worship you. Man takadizi semperi andakarabasetis. Father, your people are here. We've gathered in your presence. You told us to gather to experience the death, the burial, and your resurrection. Today, your power is proven right here in this auditorium. The lame will begin to walk. The blind will see. Even men who have a money miracle, they will live here with so much testimonies. I bless them with your blessings. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. Give two people a high five. Say congratulations. Can go back. I'm happy to see you. Turn to somebody. Say congratulations. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. You believe your miracle has started. Shout hallelujah. Wonderful and marvelous is Jesus. Christ to me, sweeter than the honey in the honey cool we see. Wonderful, wonderful and marvelous is Jesus Christ to me, sweeter than the honey in the honey cool we see. Jesus is real, he will never fail. I will praise him now and throughout all eternity. I will praise him now and throughout all eternity. Wonderful, wonderful and marvelous is Jesus Christ to me.
Jesus is real and he will never fail. I will praise him now and throughout all eternity. I will praise him now and throughout all eternity. Wave your hands to the Lord Jesus. See, Jesus is here. My heart is full of praise to Jesus. Amazing. 
I see the power of God going through uh, the congregation. Jesus is telling me, all you need now is to open your hearts and just receive. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You have your miracle. Father, we thank you. We adore you. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big shout of praise. You may be seated, somebody. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, choir. You may be seated. Amen. Can we just turn to somebody and just give him or her a nice smile? Smile to the person and say, Is it resurrection? Has Jesus arose? Has he arose? Or is he still in the grave? Has he arose? Has he arose? Are you serious? Then shout glory! He's risen! Amen! He's risen! On that note, I want to share these few thoughts with you. Very, very few thoughts with you. Could the ushers help me get this other seat filled? Very, very shortly because I want to close so much on time. Have you enjoyed yourself so far? Have you enjoyed the presence of the Lord? Throughout the month of March, I was sharing with you in church on divine prosperity. Menche, I wouldn't keep long, all right? But the few I'm going to share with you, make sure you are writing some notes. Very important. We didn't just come here to eat or whatever. This is the most important part. And I want to see everybody busily writing. We've been sharing on divine prosperity. But today is Easter Sunday. And I want to share with you on this Easter Sunday, the power of his resurrection. The power of his resurrection. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. At this point, the ushers should be very, very strong on the kids and anybody who wants to move out. It's not time to move out, please. I'm going to share with you in just 15 or 20 minutes. And today, we have three powerful sessions. This is the first session, which is the word and miracles. Are you listening to me? The second meeting today is ours. So if you turn to my right here, I think you should clap. You see some beautiful awards. Can the camera show it? We have more than maybe 10 awards to give to very outstanding individuals in the house of God for soul winning and for partnership. So that's the second thing we will do. Then the third thing we will do is to have a party for our kids, the orphanages we invited. It's Easter, and I thought that we can bless some kids. Give them some items, bless them with materials, so the ushers should get all the materials ready. I bought materials worth over 5,000 just to give to them. We also have food for them. Hallelujah. I would like to thank, I don't want to forget it, but I would like to thank all of you that have been very, very busy, the chairman, all the other people working and putting this program together. Let's clap for them. <laughs> Open your hearts at this moment and receive the blessing of the Lord. Amen. The power of his resurrection. Is Jesus real or we are just talking about a religious leader? Or there was a real man that God sent to live. Who is Jesus? Who did he die for? And what is the purpose of his resurrection? The Bible says, there's no power 
in heaven. There's no name. That name, they represent power. Where a name is nothing without power. There's no name or power in heaven given among, among men in hell that is powerful, stronger than the name of Jesus. So today, we're going to talk briefly about the name of Jesus and the power of his resurrection. Turn with me from John chapter 11. It's a long scripture, but let's be fast. John chapter number 11. We can take from verse number 1 quickly. John 11, 1. Let's see how much we can take. The Bible says, Now a certain man was sick and named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. Let's be fast today. It was that... It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Next verse, quick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, I want you to follow the story. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. As in Martha and Mary, their brother was Lazarus. And Jesus loved Lazarus so much. Next verse. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after... That said he to his disciples, let us, not, let us go into Judea again. His disciples said unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and go thou hither again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If a man walk in a day, he stumbled not, because he seeth the light of this world. Let's be fast. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbles because there's no light in him. He has already, we, have, we are back to Lazarus. When he was in, in, in the house with Lazarus, then the disciples reminded him that he had to go to a place. Because they want to seek him. They want to beat him. They want to stone him. They want to kill him. Jesus had to reply in a parable. Then he came back to them. So these things said he. And after that, he said unto them, our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Don't, don't worry yourself. Then let's go to where we want to go. How be Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking off rest in sleep. Then said the Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Lazarus was actually dead. But in Christ, there's no death. We sleep it in Christ. So he was speaking to them in a faith language. That Lazarus sleep it, but they didn't understand. So now he had to be plain and tell them that Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent that he may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Then said Thomas, which is called Did Didymus, unto his fellow disciple, let us also go that we may die with him. Mm. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave for four days already. That means Lazarus was really dead. Tell you remember, he was really dead. Say Lazarus was really dead. Four days in the grave. Now, Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off. And many of the Jews came to Mara and Mary to comfort them concerning their body. Quick. The Mara, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary sat still in the house. Then said Mara unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. <laughs> 
But I know that even now, whatsoever thou will ask of God, God will give it thee. Hallelujah. They have so much belief in the master, which is very important. This morning, you must have so much belief in the master. You must talk. Go back to the other verse. You must talk. Go back again. You must talk as Mary spoke. Go back to verse 25. 23 now. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Next verse. Jesus said unto her, I am. Can we read all together, everyone? One to go. Hold on. I want us to say, because this is the point. I read all that to bring you here. One, two, go. Shout hallelujah. Jesus is the resurrection and the dead. That means there's nothing above Jesus concerning death. He is death. He is resurrection. So if he, being the resurrection, stand before you and say, rise, you rise. He has the power of resurrection. This morning, you must have faith in Jesus. Anything that is dead in your life shall resurrect. Your army this morning is very important. Your army will bring your miracles. I said anything dead in your life shall resurrect this morning. Your finances shall resurrect. Your sickness will be healed. You will have your peace of mind. You are being resurrected. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am the resurrection and life. I'm going to give you some point, but I wanted to bring your mind to that face. Let's go to the same John quickly. The same John, put that scripture at the back of your mind. Chapter number. Okay, let's look at Romans. Romans 6, 6. Romans chapter 6, verse 6, quickly. Romans chapter 6, verse 6 to 13. Knowing that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not save sin. Next verse. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if Christ, oh sorry, now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Are you following? We died in him. We call it Easter. That means if he is risen, we have risen with him. Next verse. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, died no more. Death had no more dominion over him. If death has no more dominion over Christ, death has no more dominion over you. Shall there be amen? amen. Jesus is real. For in, in that he died, he died on sin once. But in that he lived, he lived unto God. Next verse. Likewise reckon, this is the point. Likewise reckon ye also yourself to be dead indeed. He used the word indeed. That's very true. Unto sin. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Say I'm alive. Say I'm alive. Say I'm alive. Say I'm alive. Christianity is not a religion. Some may have a traditional religion. Some may have Islamic religion. But when we are filling forms... We add Christianity as part of religion because we want the people to understand us. But in, in reality, Christianity is not a religion. And I will explain to you. Why is Christianity not a religion? A religion is a system set up by a man to focus on a direction of worship. So everything goes to that man who serves as the direction of worship. In Islam, we look at Muhammad. In traditional religion, we look at priests, small gods. They worship them. But these gods are represented by men. That's why we have fetish priests. So some people may desire not to be Muslims. 
They may decide not to be Christian, but they want to be traditional because they, they think God dwells in that fetish, in that goddess. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a living, pulsating life of God in a man. We are not asking you to serve something you don't know. Christianity is Jesus at work in you. You have a relationship with you, with him. There's a relationship. You are not looking up to this personality you don't know. Muslims pray um, five times to a God they don't see, they don't know. They don't have a relationship, but they believe there's a God somewhere through Muhammad. We are not saying there's a God somewhere. We are saying our God is in us. So Christianity is Christ in you. You are not looking up to Jesus some way, somehow. He is inside of you. If Christ in you, the Bible said then your body is dead. Sin is dead. Hallelujah. We will get there. Say, you must believe indeed that you don't reckon yourself unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I'm alive. See, I'm alive. Mark chapter 5, chapter 15. I will shorten this one because of time. I wanted to read from the whole of verse 1 to 13, but let's take it from 39. Mark chapter 15, verse 38, 39. And to verse 36, so you can understand it. Verse 36. And one man, and one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it on the reed and gave, this is the time they are going to crucify the master. Can I ask you a hand if you are following, please? This is all we need for today. At this time, I wanted to read the whole story, but because of time, they have given Jesus up to be killed. So let's take it from there. And put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, let alone, let us see whether Elias will come to take him down. They were mocking Jesus. Next verse. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. That means he died. So Jesus indeed died. Tell your neighbor, Jesus indeed died. Say, so he really, really died. Verse number 38. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. This was what separated God from man. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Moses met God and he wanted the people to see God himself. But the glory to which Moses was shining or in which Moses was shining, the people could not behold his face. So, God now told Moses to cover his face. I want to explain this scripture to you. Alright? Then, God said, Moses will now be a mediator between God and the people. So, Moses will hear the voice of God and come and tell the people. Then, God told Moses, that is not enough. Build a temple where I will hit my face in the temple. And the temple, you divide it into three. We have the holy place. We have the, um, the most holy place. Then we have the holy place. Then we have the outer courts. So we believe that God was inside there. And the inside, the outer court, no man can go there except the priests. And the priests even go there once a year. So, how do I explain this? Okay, so let's say this big place, all right? Then there is this huge curtain. According to the to scriptures and the Bible scholars, the thickness of the, of, the, of the cloth could be as big as the speaker. A curtain separating the whole most holy place. So they bring the sacrifices to the outer courts. Then the priests will do the sacrifices 
at the holy place. Then we have sin offering. If you have sinned once a year, we will take your sacrifice and go in the inner courts. The most, most holy place. For God or for the, the, the priest to atone for your sin. So no man could enter the site and see God. Because God told Moses to build a tabernacle in that format. But the Bible says, that means at that time, let's say Christianity was a religion. Because we don't see this God, but we believe he's there. But God did not want religion any longer. Lift up your hands. <laughs> so he sent Jesus. And the Bible says, when Jesus gave up the ghosts, the veil of the temple that separated man from seeing God, it was rent into two. From the top to the bottom. Then God said, now every man can enter. I can live in man. Man can live in me. That's what Jesus came to do. So Christianity is not a religion. God has come to set his abode in you. Many do understand this. Many Roman Catholics do understand this. Many Methodists do understand this. Many Pentecost do understand this. Even Pentecost, I told you, there's nothing Pentecost in the Bible. You see, the fact that a lie has been there for many years doesn't make it true. Pentecost is a festival for those who are, who are aged 50 years. It was a Jewish festival. But the Bible says the day that the Holy Ghost came, that was the day they were celebrating that festival called Pentecost. So the Pentecost was not for the Christians. The Christians were gathered in the upper room, minding their own business. Can I talk to you? The way we are gathered here, we are Christians. Then maybe Kutunsi, chiefs, and then priests, they have a, a homo festival. But we didn't join them on the streets of Kutunsi and Media and Pokwasi. We were here. But when we were here like this, the Holy Ghost came. Did it mean that we were part of their celebration? Talk to me. But the Holy Ghost came when they were doing the celebration. So when the day of Pentecost had come, when they were celebrating that festival, that one, the Holy Ghost came in the upper room. So there's nothing Christian about Pentecostal, and there's nothing Pentecost about Christianity. So many people are living a life of religion. Me, I'm, on, I'm not a Muslim. Me, I'm not a traditional. Me, I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm in the Christian religion. Christianity is not a religion. It's God at work in a man. It's God dwelling in a man. And Jesus made that possible. Say, God dwells in me. When you have a relationship with God, he's your father. There's a difference between God as somebody you worship and God as your father. When you have God as your father, you can interact with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you go to verse 39 as we run up? 39. And when the certain centurion stood, okay, that's okay. I wanted you to just get up to that point. Then I will give you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Moshi Gabahata. Are you ready for your miracle? Manti Gabra Anso Pradiza Atara Mahosi. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Mark 16, 15. Let's run over this. Boki Bro Shamina Hata. La Bradis. Mon Pradigis Gaba. The man Dili Moshi Gabaradi. So when Jesus has died, has resurrected. This is the instruction he gave, according to Mark. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The purpose of the church is to preach the gospel. Next verse. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Are you following? You must believe and be baptized. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Damned, you shall be condemned. You shall be thrown to hell. Speak in tongues, somebody, if you can speak in tongues. Marco Shadababa. They that believe, the Bible says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Who are the believers in the house? Lift up your hand if you're a believer. Say, in my name, they shall cast out devils. 
That's the first thing when you come to Christ, you should be able to do. You cast out devils. You don't run away from devils. You are not afraid of devils. The Bible says you should cast them out. This is not for pastors. Am I preaching to somebody? Casting out devils is not for pastors. It's not even for mature Christians. As long as we're a believer, Christ is in you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You shall cast out devils. You shall speak with new tongues. Let me explain this to you. Every child of God, you can speak in tongues. And kase, ah, now you see tongues, you know, a special gift. So who needs a special gift now? You cannot speak in tongues. No, I will prove to you why it is no. Speaking in tongues, it's a language of the spirits. We have the speaking in tongues as a language of the spirits. Then we have speaking in tongues as a gift of the spirits. And that gift of the spirit comes with interpretation. So, speaking in tongues as a language of the spirits, every believer can speak it. Today, I'm going to fill many of you with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Everybody, if you are born in an, in an Akan setting, you should be able to speak Chi. True or false? If you are born in a gang community, what do you speak? If you are born into God, into the kingdom of God, what do you speak? You speak in tongues. But it doesn't mean that you have the gifts of the interpretation of tongues. I don't want to go into that. But you have to speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues is not for mature people. Speaking in tongues is not for special people. Once you want to speak in tongues and you open your mouth, you can speak. Because the Bible says, they that believe, they shall speak with new tongues. This is a selected few. Next one. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, whether you did it, you drank it consciously or unconsciously, whether somebody poisoned you, you knew it, you didn't know it. The Bible says, if it enters this body, you shall drink any deadly thing. You see, it's either true or it's false. Am I communicating? What Jesus said, either said, yeah, kind of, are you true? And I say, are you false? Is it true or it is false? It's true. If it is true, then it's our responsibility to perform. When you drink anything poison, the first thing you do is to speak in tongues and heal yourself of that poison. If you're a believer, they said, it shall not hurt you. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Hallelujah. This is for all believers. Lift up your hands. Say it's for all believers. Say, I can do all these things. But many churches do not preach this. People are just happy going to church. They are just happy going to church. They don't know the power of his resurrection. They don't know who a child of God is. Five things. Let me run up with this. Five important things or benefits of his resurrection. Five benefits of his death and resurrection to a child of God. Let's run up with this. Five benefits. Why did Jesus die? Why did God send his only begotten son to die for us? Why? Number one, he died to save us from our sins unto his righteousness. The first reason Jesus died because as long as you are born into this world, you are descendant of Adam. You don't have to do something wrong to be a sinner. Are you here? Are you here? Once you are born into this world, you don't have to do something wrong to be a sinner. You are born from Adam the sinner. So the first thing Jesus has to do is to take you from that sin. And this sin is not a sin that you do something wrong. The Bible says in John, he said, that he that is born of the Spirit of God cannot sin. When you come to Christ, you do wrong things. You can do terrible wrong things. But actually, 
you cannot sin. But the Bible says because the seed of God dwells in you. But because you have not grown yet, you may still be doing a lot of wrong things. But a Christian cannot sin. Because you cannot have the righteousness of God dwelling in you and at the same time sin. It's not possible. Righteousness and sin cannot move together. Hallelujah. So the first thing Jesus did was to take away our sins and bring us into his righteousness. You can see that in Colossians chapter number 1 verse 13 to 14. You guys have to be very fast. Try to bear with us, right? The next time you are coming to this auditorium, you will have AC blowing you, all right? You will have AC blowing you. Your amen is too small. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So bear with us. It's just a matter of time. I'll, I'll finish soon. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In whom we have redemption, go to 13. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness. Who did it? Jesus Christ. And has translated us the kingdom of his dear son. So we are in the kingdom of lights. That kingdom is called the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. Number two points. Number two benefits of his resurrection. He made us as with God and John as with Jesus Christ. Jesus came to make us as with God and John as with Jesus. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. And if ye be Christ's then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. God willed the whole of this world to a man called Abraham. God gave this whole world to Abraham as a promise to enjoy. But the Bible is saying here through Paul that if you are in Christ, then you are that seed of Abraham. And not just that, heirs according to the promise. Say I'm an heir. Lift up here. Say I'm an heir. Who is an heir? Somebody who enjoys an inheritance. Somebody who has been willed an inheritance. Say, I have inheritance in Christ. There are so many scriptures, but let me just, you know, cut it short because of the other things. Say, I have inheritance in Christ. I refuse to be broke. Do you know that if you are really living the Christian life, you will not be poor? You can't be poor? Say, I refuse to be poor. That is why... After this program, you have to keep coming to church so that we can teach you God's word. This message is not enough. You have to keep coming. Well, I know that you may have some questions in your mind. Pastor says something I didn't understand. Pastor says something. You have to come to church. I will take my time to explain to you. A child of God should not be sick. A child of God should not be poor. It's not, it's not possible to be an heir apparel, an inheritor in Christ, an inheritor in the saints, and be broke. But we read this as scripture. We don't just believe it for the manifestation. Number three, the benefits of his resurrection. Number three, he took away our sickness, our disease and infirmities. If you are born again, you have received the resurrected Jesus Christ in your life, you are not supposed to be sick. The Bible said, they that dwell in Zion shall not say, I am sick. This was even in the Old Testament. You should not say it. Say, I refuse to be sick. Say, I have the life and the nature of God in me. Say, there's no sickness that can dwell in this body. In fact, can you touch your body and make this confession? Say, from today, I refuse to be sick. I have the life and the nature of God in my spirit. I cast out demons and devils of sicknesses in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm a healer. I bring healing to people in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember the Bible said in Mark chapter 16, going, he said, you shall heal the sick. So you shall lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. Number, did I give you a scripture there? 
That's number three, right? Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. He took away our sicknesses, our disease, and our infirmity. Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. The Bible said that he might be fulfilled, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Himself, say himself. Who is that person? Jesus himself. He didn't send one of the angels. He didn't send one of the apostles. He himself. Speaking tones. Did Jesus take my infirmity and bear my sicknesses? Oh my goodness. How can I be sick? Go to Isaiah. Because this scripture, stay here, stay here. When he said that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah. That means they said it in the Old Testament. And I want to show you where Isaiah said it. Isaiah chapter 53, verse number 4. Isaiah 53, number 4. That's where Matthew got this from. Surely, Isaiah was a prophet. So in his time, Jesus had not come. But he was speaking in prophetic language. What was going to happen? Surely, he had borne our griefs and had carried our sorrows. Yet, we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Can you go to verse 5? You see? This is all testamental. If you can see, can you wave to me if you can see that scripture? This is all testament. As I was prophesying about Jesus. So, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Say we are healed. Isaiah, even in the Old Testament, didn't say we will be healed. He said we are healed. That means perpetually. With this prophecy, anyone who receives this, we are healed. Say I refuse to be sick. Say Jesus took my infirmities. He took my sicknesses. So what do you do? When you feel some pains in your body, touch it. In the name of Jesus. Body comply. You cannot live here. Sickness out. We don't do this. We rather have drugstore in our houses. We have every medicine. You know the, the, the drug to take for headache. You know the drug to take for malaria. You know the drug to take for, for knee pains. You know everything you have arranged them in your house. So there's no cause for faith. If you want to start putting your faith to work, go and hide those drugs for a while. When sickness show up, is it your knee? Touch it. I am telling you, it works. If you can speak in tongue, you touch it. Be healed. Be healed. It shall go. The body has the senses to hear the name of Jesus. No, the tongues are shallow. Do you understand? But because as an AJ, you know, they have built it in us. And to who do now, boy, they are AJ. Eradi me who? You see, it's in your spirit. You have to take your time to clear those confessions. Then you place it with tongues. Do you pull it over there? What do you say? Pere ba poshondo le meka ba 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 liga ba hey, be healed. Do your leg like this. That is what it means to start exercising faith. La kusi kima namaya. Somebody called you. Gave you a bad news, sort of you being sorrowful. Because there are many things to distract us. Yesterday I had prepared my message, coming to preach on a tablet, and that tablet got missing. Things happen. You can have issues at workplace, you can have issues in your marriage. Don't let it control you. The Bible says, In the world, you shall have what? Troubles. But in me, you shall have peace. As long as you are in this world, there will be troubles. But if you are in Christ, and Christ is in you, he said, you are more than conquerors. 
Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Jesus in you is bigger than that marriage issue. The Jesus in you is bigger than that, that trouble in that business. The Jesus in you is bigger than that rent that your landlady is sacking you. Keep your confessions on. Hallelujah. Which number is that? That's number four, right? That's number three. So number four, benefits of the resurrection. Jesus qualified us to be heaven citizens. That means if you are born again, you are not trying to go to heaven. You are already in heaven. I have no mechan sembia, I won't tell that. But what you say, so Obra wants to know what's in here because I'm born. If you are born again, you don't have to do anything special to go to heaven. You don't have to live some life. Hey, he said, I'm born again. Oh, me careful. Answer me, quite heaven. You are already in heaven. You are at the other part of heaven. But you will still be doing something wrong. Those wrong things will not take you to hell. As long as Christ is in you, Christ cannot be in this body and you go to hell. It's not possible. But what you now do is that you make Christ mature in you so that you don't do certain things. That's what Paul said. Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? He said, no. When you grow up and Christ grows in you, there are things you will not do. You don't like to steal. Because when you steal, it corrupts your own spirits. You didn't like to lie. When you lie, it corrupts your own spirit. And that lies will rather, the consciousness of that lie is what will make you feel sin. So you become so conscious. Oh, I have sin. The Bible says you should not allow sin to have dominion over you. That means that don't be thinking about sin. When you do something, don't think about it. But it is not those sin that can take you to hell. There are only two things or two ways people can go to hell. Number one, if you receive Jesus and then later you say that I don't want to receive Jesus again and you denounce him, that Jesus has come from your heart, you are going to hell. Number two, if you have not received Jesus at all, you don't remember the day you made him the Lord of your life. Whether you live right or you live wrong, you go to hell. Going to hell is not about you are doing something wrong or you are doing something right. Going to hell depending on whether you have received Jesus. But the Bible said in John chapter 3 verse 6, whosoever believes in him should not perish. If you believe in him and you have him, you are not going to perish in hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Are you receiving the message? Go and live this resurrection life. Hallelujah. 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 So you can get Ephesians chapter 4 or chapter 2 verse 19 on the number 4. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. We have become heaven citizens. So we live the heaven life here. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Lift up your hands, everyone. Those of you at the back, can you hear me? Lift up your hands. Say, I belong. Say it. Say, I belong to the household of God because I am born again. Hallelujah. The last point. Those of you that I invited you personally, I told you that by 11, I'll, I'll try and close. By 10, 10, 11. We didn't really start on time. But I'm, I'm still closing at 11. I think you should clap for me. I've tried. <laughs> Loaded. By 11, we will officially finish. They will now move quickly to the awards. They will move quickly to the um, party for the kids. But the Lord is going to do something in just 10 minutes. He's going to outpour his spirit with so much miracles. He wants to do that. Miracle doesn't mean we should spend 10 hours here. Jesus can give each one of us a miracle in a minute. Do you understand? That is why I find it wonderful when a pastor is casting a demon and he's using 10 hours or one hour on one demon. You are entertaining the demon too much. 
it shouldn't take time in the realms of the spirit for something to happen. Jesus can just do everybody receive. If you are sick in your knee to be healed. If you are sick in your eyes to be healed. If you are sick in your ears you be healed. At one time. So the miracle part may not take time at all. Last point. Did we read this? Number five. The power of his resurrection. The benefits of his death and resurrection. Number five. He has empowered us. Jesus. When we come to him. He empowers us to win many more into this kingdom. Now that we have become citizens, number five, he empowers us to win many others into this kingdom. We can look at that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Did you get the last point? His resurrection brings you an empowerment to win many others to this kingdom you belong to. And all things are of God who had reconciled us unto himself by Jesus Christ, my God, and has given us or has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So when God reconciles you to himself by Jesus. The next thing God does is now makes you, can you get the Amplified version? Amplified. Or later message. Any child of God in the kingdom who doesn't win souls, doesn't understand the kingdom. If you understand the kingdom, the most important thing you'll be doing for the rest of your life is soul winning. That is what will give you more marks, more awards in heaven. That's why we are giving a temporary award for you. But in heaven, the highest awards will go to soul winners. To go to soul winners. But all things are of God who through Jesus Christ reconciled us to himself, received us into favor, brought us into harmony with himself. And gave to us the ministry of reconciliation. That by word and deed we might aim to bring others into harmony with him. Hallelujah. 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 Say I'm born again. Say I'm a believer. And I make more believers. I win many more to this kingdom. At this point, can you stand to your feet? Everyone, stand to your feet. I want to give you just a minute. Pray and thank God for the message that has come to you. Thank the Lord that you are a partaker and a doer of the word, not just a hearer. Thank the Lord for the message and ask his word to dwell in you completely, to be a doer of his word. Open your mouth and pray somebody. Shadamana ni mahasi kadaba Zora katarabali boshe Before Jesus gives you and complete a miracle Those of you that listen all the things that I mentioned Prosperity being an heir and enjoying the inheritance sickness not dwelling in you becoming a soul winner, being part of heaven, if you are not born again, the Bible says you cannot see the kingdom. At this moment, some of you, you are not sure you are born again. When you are sure, say when you are born again. And now I say, you are not living for Christ. We check our brother, but you are not really living for Christ. I want you to lift up your hands like this. I want to receive you. Lift up your hands, all of you. I want you to come to Jesus. Okay, please, can you come forward? Can you run to the, to the stage? Please, all of you, come. Come. You lift up your hands. Just come. It's very important. Come. Ushers, can you help them to come? Come and receive Jesus. There's a way to be truly born again. If you're not truly born again, you cannot understand what I'm talking about. Come. You are not sure you are born again. Please come. This is the time. This is
is your hour. And now Jesus will begin to bring you healing. Bring you prosperity. I'm still waiting for five more people. You're not born again. Come. Hold on. Let me tell you this. Jesus may show up any moment from now. I'm telling you. If you don't receive him now and he shows up tomorrow, you are going to hell. Now, being born again is not the same as going to church. I want you to hear me well. You can be going to church, you can be entering the house of God, but you know Jesus is not in your heart. You have to come now. You are the reason we organize this program. Come now. Being born again is not going to church. No. You can even be a pastor's child and you are still going to hell because you don't remember the day you received Christ. I'm waiting for two more people. Two more people. Can you get them the first MS card? Can you get them the card? I'm waiting for two more people. The Lord, let them, let them come. Let them come. You can arrange them to the other side. Don't worry. No, arrange them to the side by side. No, they should go. I want to minister to them. Thank you, Jesus. The most important thing in the kingdom is salvation. My God. My God. My God. My God. All of you there, you are sure you are born again? Stretch for your hand towards them. Stretch for your hand towards them. Thank you, Lord. Those of you here, where are the cats? Spirit of Lord is here. Are the cats finished? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Those of you here, lift your hands. The Bible says something. He said, I, I remember when I got born again. And I, I thank God I did. You can be proud and you think that I don't want anybody to see me. You are going to hell. You are going to hell. We may not have a program like this again. Jesus will show up. Come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus now. He will save you. He will save you. To Jesus, come to Jesus. I'm waiting for one more person. I can feel in my spirit there's somebody who doesn't have Christ yet. He will save you. He will save you. On. Are your cards finished? Lift your cards or lift your hands and say this after me. Say, In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Father, I thank you for your son Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for me and to save me from my sins. This morning, I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. And I believe with all my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. I declare I am born again. I have been transported from darkness 
into light. Thank you, Father. I am born again in Jesus' name. Speak, speak. Thank the Lord by yourself. Now, I want to do the last thing before I close. Those of you here, whatever you have said, I want to assure you that you are born again. If you are here and you cannot speak in tongues, I want you to come and stand behind them. Come and stand behind. You cannot speak in tongues. Just come. If you don't speak in tongues, you cannot pray for longer periods. You cannot interact with God effectively. You want to make cut tongues. Come. All of you, I'm going to minister the Holy Ghost to you now. Then you begin to speak in tongues. You cannot speak in tongues. Just come. Ushers, get ready to get microphones. You are going to all speak in tongues. Tongues of the Holy Ghost. Your life has changed forever. Jesus has washed you. You are a new person now. Okay, those of you that want to speak, those of you that got born again, can you be at their back? Those, you, these guys should now come. Those of you that want to speak, you, know, you come forward now. You that got born again, go back. Stand at their back. I will still lead you to receive. Please come. Yeah. I want to minister the Holy Ghost to you. You begin to speak in the language of the Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What, I, no, they should come now. Those who want to speak in tongues, just um, up to this side. Raise your hands. Lift your hands. Just give me some something at the background there. Father, in the name of Jesus, these ones are standing before you. They want to receive the ability to speak in other tongues. Just say these words after me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive the ability to speak in tongues. As I open my mouth now, Lord, fill me with the power to speak in other tongues. Now, in Jesus' name, open your mouth and speak. Be filled. Speak it. Open your mouth. Is it? Speak it. Everybody. Open your mouth now. You are speaking it. Everybody now. Everybody standing here. Open your mouth and speak. I confirm this. I confirm this. I confirm this. Yes. Speak it. Speak. Speak it. The ability to speak. Because of time, all of you, as I touch you, open your mouth and speak. All of you, they are all speaking. As I touch you, just open your mouth. The power will come. The rest of you should come. Those of you that receive Christ, come now. And lift your hands. As you come, you lift your hands. As I touch you, just open your mouth and speak. All right? Open your mouth. All of you speaking. Keep speaking. Don't stop speaking it. Speak it. Speak it. All of you. Yes. Yes. As I touch you, just speak it. Speak it. Open your mouth and speak it. 
As I touch you, open your mouth and speak it. Speak it, all of you. Speak it. Go back to your seat. Speak it in tongues, everyone. Go back to your seat. Let's clap for the Lord. Clap for them as you go back to their seats. Shara mama marabako shete. Just stand. Jesus want to move now. You know what I want to do? Hold on. Because of time. Next week's service will be called testimony service. Your clapping is too small. Your shouting is too small. Because if I begin to take testimony now, we can't do the rest of the program. So next week's service is what? All of you that have received testimony, you come and testify. Everybody stand to your feet. In the next three minutes, the Holy Ghost is going to move specially in this auditorium. Put your hands where you need a healing. If you need a healing for your pockets, you want to get money, put your money on your, uh, your hand on your pockets. Put your hand on your pockets. You have a heart disease. Put your hand on your heart. You have a chest pain. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, let me tell you, just a minute. The same way these people came and then they opened their mouths and they received the gifts of salvation. That is how you're also going to receive your miracle. The same way those that wanted to speak in tongues opened their mouths and had the gift of speaking in tongues. It's time for your miracle. Three major miracles. Healing, financial miracle, and peace. Healing, financial miracle can be anything. Instant money miracles. It can be money that will pay your rents and your accommodation. It can be money that will buy that car. It can be a testimony that will, somebody will buy a house for you. Whatever miracle you need, go ahead and speak it now. Angels, let's go. <laughs> go ahead and speak it. You know it better than I know. Go ahead and speak it by yourself. Angels, let's go. <laughs> Angels, let's go. <laughs> Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your miracle is here now. The Holy Ghost is touching your body right now in the name of Jesus. Your head pain is gone. Your chest pain is gone. Your body pains are gone. Your money miracle is here. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. From now, so the next three days, money will come to your account. From now to the next three days, that body pain is gone. From now to the next three days, that headache, that blindness is gone now. I'm saying that three days because it has started right now. But you come and testify. Three days time, we had midweek service. Some of you testify at the midweek service. Receive that miracle. If you need a miracle for a loved one, stand and speak on his behalf. How many of you, let me use a few people as a point of contact. How many of you have one pain or the other in your body? Can I see your hand? You, have, you need a healing instantly. Come here. God has to touch those. Just come. I want to use them as a point of contact. You need a healing in your body. Any part of your body. Just come. Man, take a day. Can you sing that miracle song for me? Man, Dolomo. Proving the power of God. Come. Come for your healing. 
His presence Come. fills the earth. Proving the power of God. Proving the, the resurrection power of Jesus. Come now. We're going to thank God for that miracle. From glory to glory. Spirit of the Lord is seen. The same spirit. Jesus from the dead. I endorse your miracle. I endorse your miracle. Be healed. You have a miracle. First power. Be healed from sin. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Begin to walk well. Be healed. Walk. Walk. Spirit of the Lord, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be
pray. Don't put back on this one. Let's help her. Let's help her. Keep working. Oh, no, bring it. Let her push it. Come, 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 come. Bring it. She shouldn't be in it. Die that you may live. In his name. And help her to go. Lift your hands. Say thank you, Jesus. In the next one minute, thank him for the miracles. Everything that Jesus has done today is completed. The pain is gone. You see, if you are born blind or you are born crippled, sometimes even if you are doing exercise and your leg twists a bit, you see, though you can be healed, it will take you some time. That lady is totally healed. Amen. You are totally healed. Amen. That miracle is here in the name of Jesus. As a next week, all of you come and testify. Lift your hands and give him praise. Give him praise for your miracle. Even for those you intercede for, they have their miracle. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. You may have your seat now. Thank you, Jesus. At this moment, I would like us to bring out our offerings as we close. The atmosphere is so much charged. Thank you, Lord. I want you to bring out your offerings. Ushers will bring you envelopes. You want to give your tithes. This program is called Easter Miracle Service. You want to give towards this program. You have given, you want to give more. No usher should be at the back. They cannot see you from the back. They can't see you from the back. So you have to come. You come here, they call you, then you attend to them at the back. Take an envelope. You give your tithes. You want to give to support this program. You want to give to healing streams. You want to give for Rhapsody. Any kind of giving you want to do, you cannot come to the house of God empty-handed. So I'd like you to take an envelope right now. If you don't, you are not going to sow any special seed. Just take your normal offering. Then we'll pray. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to especially pray for all of you that will have a seed in your hand. All right? Whether your tithes, your partnership, for the program, you will come to the front. I'll pray for you. After that, we will give our normal church offering. So I'm giving you one minute. Take an envelope and give anything you want to give in the house of God. This year, as a church, we want to give God a million dollars. You not shout. <laughs> we are giving God a million dollars. And it shall be done. You can give for Rhapsody. You can give for Healing School. You can give for this program. Whatever. So go ahead and pray over your offerings. If you have an envelope you are giving money to, can I, can I see your envelope? Can you wave it for me? Those of you holding them, can you come forward, please? I want to especially pray for anybody sowing a special seed. Please come. Let me pray for you. You are giving for something special. You are thanking God for your miracle. Please, hold on. Three things. Your tithes, thanking God for your miracle, rhapsody, healing school, or any special seed. Just come. I want to bless you and empower you. I want to bless you and empower you. My God. My God. My God. Whatever you have in your hand will be the smallest. There's an empowerment on your finance now. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every seed in their hand, you are the one that knows the heart of men. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that you empower them financially. Whatever in their hand, I cause it to be multiplied a thousand times. In the name of Jesus, they will come back to testify that after Pastor prayed on my seat, I have multiplied harvest. I bless your offerings in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Please put it in this offering bag. Let's clap for them. Now, the offering bag will come to you, whatever you have in your hand. First fruit, in the name of Jesus. As the Bible said, you bring the first fruit to the house of God, and your man of God will bless it. I bless his first fruit, and it shall be a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. So now, the offering bag will come to you. You now give your normal free will offering. We are going to do that in just two minutes. Then we'll close this session. Then we'll do very special awards. Then we can close. Can you pass the offering bag now? Can I get an envelope or a paper with a pen, please? A paper with a pen. Shadaba. Thank you, Jesus. Please, the offering giving is ongoing, so just go ahead and give your offering. In two minutes, we'll be done. And then, we'll use a few minutes to do this hours. I'll call some people to come and help me with the presentation of the hours. So if I call you, then you come. Let's get ready for that. Anyway, I think I've not welcomed our first timers. If today is your first time coming to this church, can you just wave your hand like this? Please wave your hand. Your first, wow. Your first time coming here. Let's, let's give them a special love, please. Let's love them specially. Let's love them. You can do better than that. Don't get tired. Awesome. I may not get a time to um introduce all of them i have at least 50 souls here 50 and i don't want to keep longer so i'll just introduce two of them so that you know that they are really here and then i would um welcome all of them after the service because i have a special gift for them so I'd like you to welcome and appreciate my special mother and my friend. She is the queen mother of Dobro Media. Yes, let's clap for him. She's my good friend and my mother as well. Then we have Senche also here. Let's clap for Senche. He is the Senche for Media as well. When we say Senche, do you understand? You don't understand? Okay, who understands Senche? Who understands? Uh -huh. What does it mean? No, you stand there. Can you help him? Somebody should tell him for me. You will tell you, then you tell us. I want you to know, so that you know his position, right? Then a lot more people that I may not be able to introduce, but these are very, you know, they, they own our lands in a way, where we are, what we do. So it's always important that we appreciate them. All right. So maybe another time I'll tell you about it. Are you done with giving the offerings? Did he tell you? What did he say? Okay, so he says he's the chief of the stool chair. That we have something we call stool lands. So when it comes to lands in all that area, in the media, is under him. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Hallelujah. I saw many, many, many first-timers. In fact, all those coming from the orphanage and the school, I know most of you are first-timers, so I'm going to meet you specially. Please, I don't want anybody to be outside at this moment as we get ready to close. There's a, an award that is important. I know those who brought you. So I'm going to mention some five. We have entered the award session, all right? We have entered now. So 
we have an award for, let me mention them for you. We have the top soul winner for EMS. Your clapping is too small. Your clapping is too small. Soul winning is the most important part of the gospel. The EMS, please, the kids, they have tried for me. Can they, you know, finish well? They should finish well, please. EMS is Easter Miracle Service. Then we have for top soul winner for this quarter. That is from December to end of March. That is our first quarter. Then we have for a top team. We had a football um, game yesterday. We also have another one for Easter Football Gala, the second edition. This is the first runner-up. And then we have the second runner-up. So this one is the top team. Then we have top partner for EMS. The one that gave a lot for this particular program. Then we have top partner for the first quarter from December to now. That one is not for this program. All right? We have for this program, then we have the first quarter as a church. Then we have the most outstanding sale for the first quarter. You can see the awards here. They are not cheap at all. They are not cheap awards. Then we have the top archery sale for the first quarter. Then we have the best reporting sale. This is not our annual awards. This is just to appreciate you for the first quarter. Everybody here deserves an award. But we have to give to the top. Alright? So that um, we are all winners. So that we don't spend too much time. So I'm going to call their name to be very, very fast. As they come, you have to jubilate with them. Very, very important. Alright, so um, Okay, brother, Patrick should get ready, the Haven governor. Let's clap for him. <laughs> then, um, Mr. Damale as well. Okay. And then, where is Sister Hannah? Is she around? I thought I saw her. Okay, let's clap for Sister Hannah as well. <laughs> then, Let's clap for Auntie Betty as well. So these four people will help me to present these awards. If you are here, and in case you get an award, you leave the stage, and you come and collect your award. All right? So uh, I'm going to mention it because of time, so it will be fast. I'm not supposed to mention it, but... I have the list here, so I have to mention it first. So those I mentioned, can they join me here? Let's clap for them as they come. Yes, and then please, let's clap for Sister Jacqueline as well. Sister Jacqueline of Mosuku Church. So there are five now. Let's welcome them. Keep clapping for them. These people have called... Uh, very outstanding in many things. So, if I don't call you, it doesn't mean you are not doing anything. There are some of you that led prayer. Alright? Some of you were on talk show. So, I'm just trying to see how I can involve everybody. But let's clap for them again. So, what I'll do is that you will present two hours. The first two, the way you have been arranged. Second to, second to, second to, the last two. 
It's supposed to be 10. So we present 2, 2, 2. Let's clap for them. So we move right away into the hours. Will it be your cell? Are you expecting something? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? You are expecting something? All right. Let's zoom into it. I think we have really tried. A massive program like this that we have closed around 11. Me, I have closed my service. This one is just hours. So that you don't say the pastor kept too long. If you don't want to see the hours, you can go. But I want you to see it. All right. So, let's welcome. Okay, so I will start from the one minute. I will start from the... So, Auntie Betty, it's your turn. So, you come here. If you get an award, you walk, wherever you are sitting, you walk this direction, and then you come here. She will be receiving the award. She will give it to me, and I will give it to you. All right? You do for just two people, then you go back. All right. So, 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 so. Amen. Why are you quiet? You don't know it is you or it is not you. You you start jubilating very soon. Amen. Then please remember we have food for almost everybody. We have food for all the kids. But for the adults, I'm sure there's something for you. Can we start sharing the Healing to the Nations magazine? Let's be fast. Give every adult a copy of the Healing to the Nations magazine first. That's my first gift to you. It's a special magazine containing miracles, how to even eat well. The March edition, I saw Pastor Chris giving um, information on how you should eat well to avoid high blood pressure and all those things. So that magazine that is coming to you is so, so special. Make sure that you use it. Then you can start sharing the materials to the kids. Or oh, wait, when we get to the eating time, then we share it. Here we don't say Obiniyim. Obiniyim. As if we don't say, we are saying it. <laughs> Obiniyim. All right. We all have the Holy Ghost. So the first award goes to yes i like what you're doing you can start clapping i'm looking at the okay so the first category of was will be for the, please hold on, will be for the, most outstanding cell for the first quarter, and the top artery cell for the first quarter. <laughs> to help me do that, Auntie Betty, can you get it to her? No, you don't go, don't go. An usher should bring it to you. Can we have an usher working with them? One of the lady ushers, you bring the award to her, then she will it. Help me welcome. Which one did I mention first? Huh? The most outstanding sale for the quarter. Because we have awards for the quarter and we have awards for the for the Easter program. So I have to be very sure. So there were three of them. But because of time, we'll just call the first one. Help me welcome Ambassador Cell. Yes. Let's clap for them for winning. You can, where are your members? When we call you, you can come with your members. Ambassador Cell members, please come. When we say most outstanding cell, there are a lot of things involved. We're looking at reporting. We're looking at consistency. We're looking at even outreaches, you know, all put together. 
So let me have it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You can turn to the... No, this way. Good. Let's clap for them. Come and follow your... Wow. Who will be the next most outstanding self? Let's clap for them because of time. Thank you. Thank you. The next category is the best reporting cell. The actual cell. Good. The most outstanding actual cell. That means there are more. Let's welcome the faith cell. This one, no libi libi, no laba laba, because, hold on, I'll just say something a bit. No cell has gone out this first quarter more than fit cell. You know he deserves it. Let's clap for them. Thank you. All right, come this way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's clap for them again. Outreach cell means they go out for soul winning, either one on one, either on the mission field, either they set a stage. In fact, he himself, he has even bought a speaker purposely for that. He has bought a speaker, something like this. He goes out almost every day to win souls. Getting right along. Which one is the next one? All right. So let's welcome. Sister Hannah, as she presents the top partner and then the best reporting cell for the first quarter. Let's clap as we welcome here. Top partner for Easter Miracle Service. This one is not, hold on, because of the way the money was presented, it's not for the individual, it's for the cell. All right, it's for the cell because they gave it as a cell. So, with a round of applause with all their members together, let's welcome, let me give you an idea. We have, this program you see like, we have spent over 40,000. And out of the 40,000, I give more than 20,000. But the truth is that I can't give myself an award. I can't give myself an award. So after me, the next cell that came closer, closer is actually less than 5,000. Even the closer. It's even less than 3,000. But it's the one that came closer. If after the program you don't agree, just come, to me. I'll give you an award. <laughs> but for the report I have so far, that cell came closer. In fact, Mr. and Mrs. Ankuma, no, you're not the one for the award, though. The money you gave, I'm sure your wife is supposed to be in a particular cell. And it's the two of you. So let's welcome with a round of applause Women of Wealth. Let's welcome Sister Adobia and her Women of Wealth for all that they did for EMS. Keep clapping for them. If Women of wealth, let me tell you, they are women between the ages of, is it 30? 25. 25 to 50 years. So those in that category, they gave, let's welcome them. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Come, come up a bit. You hold it. Let's clap for them. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> that is women of wealth. 
But the top individual for this particular program is supposed to be, it's a tie. But the truth is that all of them too, they have their wives in the woman of wealth. Do you understand? So if we divide their money, it will still go to women of wealth. But the truth is that, apart from the women of wealth, a special appreciation for Mr. and Mrs. Ankoma. Please come. You just come and shake my hand. Then Mr. and Mrs. Ahinkra. Let's clap for them. Please come. They gave the best. Let's keep clapping for them. Let's keep clapping. I will give you an award by Wednesday, all right? You are not clapping. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Let's clap for them. Thank you. If you are yet to give for this program, you can still give. Now, let's get to the best reporting cell of the quarter from December till now. Who wins? That means that cell has never missed sending cell reports. When you put all together and study the thing very well, there was a cell. Let's welcome Supernatural Cell. <laughs> Where are the members? Hey! <laughs> awesome. They don't miss their reports. They don't miss their reports. Thank you. Let's welcome them. Thank you. It's yours. Thank you because of time. Let's clap for them again. I want you to know that you can still give for this program and do more crazy things. Let's welcome Brother Patrick, Governor Patrick, as you give the award for the top team. Let's go to the top team and then first runner up. Let's finish with those ones and then. Good. Can I welcome Brother Matthias at this moment? Let's clap for Brother Matthias. <laughs> he is the CEO of Mart Sports. Keep doing it for him. In fact, Brother Matthias is a major and a great soul winner. Major soul winner. Keep clapping for them. Hallelujah. So, anytime we have a program like this, Brother Matthias will make sure that he organizes his football team and even other teams to come and you know, boost the program, Invite the children and all of that. Where is the other man? What's his name? The other coach. Let's welcome Brother Kingsley as well, Mr. Kingsley. Is he called Kingsley? Okay. All right. So, Yes, please let's clap for him as well. He's also a coach. At this point, I want to appreciate all the coaches that have been organizing. Please hold on. What these people do is that they organize their team to have a match for every program we have. They had a match for my birthday. They had a match for this Easter program. They will have another match for another program. Just to commemorate the program. So, let's welcome Mr. Aqua. What is the name of your football team? Football Academy. PJ City Football Academy. He is the uh, director. Then we have Matt Sports. He is 
a major sewing of the church. So each of you, governor will give it to you, then represent it to your people. So we will start with the first runner-up. Okay, so we start from the third position. We have the, 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 the third position, which is more like the second runner-up. Then we have the first runner-up. Then we have the top team. Let's welcome Winners FC. Winners FC. If they are here, let's welcome them for winning the second runner-up. It's okay. Please hurry up. That's the coach. If they have some of their footballers and the team members, they can come. Please watch the camera. Have it. They were okay. They are coming. Let's welcome them. They won the third position. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's all about Jesus. We have all won for Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. The second team of the moment, let's welcome the Royal FC. Royal FC. Let's clap for them. Where is their coach? Where is their team leader? Royal FC. Any of their players around? Okay. Now, let's welcome the top team. Bring the top team. The top team. This is a heavy arose. With a round of applause, let's welcome Mart Sports Football Academy. Can they come now? Let them come. All of you from Mart Sports. They won the top team. Christ Amazi Finland Awards, please be here for me. These are winners. Just come this way. We will not keep long at all. Let's keep clapping for them. Everybody is a winner. You are the captain. Okay. So, captain, please watch the camera. Thank you for winning. God bless you. Thank you. Let's clap for them. All right. I think it's okay now. Thank you. Now, we move to the... Yes, let's clap for them as they go. Top so winner for the first quarter. From December till now, end of March, we put all our so winners together. Who recorded the highest number of soul winners or of souls? Is a person from your cell? Is it from your cell? <laughs> and this is a very powerful. No, that's it. Yeah. Is a, a soul winner is a star. All right. It's a very powerful award. And in this regard. It's not about the cell. It's about the individual. With a round of applause, let's welcome Sister Bertie from the Women's Fellowship. Women of Strength. Where are your members? Come with your members. Go and bring them. Yes, yes, let them come. We we'll call them Women of Strength and what? Strength and power. That means they refuse to grow. They always have power. They always have strength. Let's clap for them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Let's clap for them again. Thank you. God bless you. 
Now, top soul winner for EMS, Easter Miracle Service. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter how expensive anything is. Jesus deserves the best. These awards are very expensive. The money we put together for this program is a lot, but Jesus deserves it. Pastor Chris can put a million dollars into a program for one night. Just a night. He will tell you, it's not about the money. Jesus deserves it. So we are not wasting time. Whatever we are doing, Jesus deserves it. Now, top soul winner for EMS. That one, we are going to prove it here. Right now. I will not decide. So if I mention the cell, if you came from that cell, apart from the football team, actually, then you raise your hand. I have some top five cells. So I'll call the name of the cell here. If it's that cell that invited you or a member in that cell, then you wave your hand. I'll have people, I want somebody to be counting for me. Somebody should be doing that for me. So let's start. Ambassador cell, please come. Okay, ambassadors, faith, supernatural, dominion, maybe all of them. Um, impact, women of wealth, women of strength, charisma cell one and two. Yes, which other one? Have I mentioned the top cells? Inside for men, the men fellowship as well. So all the cell leaders have mentioned yourself. Please come, come here. Just come. Let's clap for them. All cell leaders, line up here for me, please. All cell leaders. The top cell leaders, please come. Charisma cell one and two can come. No, line up well. Where is faith cell? Okay. We have a lot of cells. Sister Jackie, where are the cells from Musuku Church? Okay, so we are, I'm also going to call three cells from the West Legon Musuku Church. So let's welcome Brother A.B. for the pastor cell, uh, Auntie Roberta for the women of prestigious ladies. Then, is it Domatila? Okay, where is Auntie Roberta? Please come. She herself, she knows she's... <laughs> Maybe the two of them is okay. All right, since the heaven couldn't make it. So all of them represent a particular cell. If your cells, I mean those you invited, your souls, you know them. You can ask them to wave. We have to prove this award here. So let me start from the far end. Mr. Adobia, if you can see their face, then you can ask them to stand up. Because we have to prove it. That is women of wealth. Let's clap for them, Sister Adubia. If you were invited by Sister Adubia or anybody from women of wealth, can you stand up? You yourself, you can ask them to stand up if you have some souls here. Yes, all the souls from Sister Adubia and her members. Is that all? Four souls for EMS. Is that all? Okay, who knows? They can, they can win. Is that all your soul, your soul? I just want to be sure. I have four now. Anybody else? Where? Okay, four. Mr. Philomena also brought some. Where is Mr. Philomena's uh, members? If you don't come, I'm counting it as four. All right. The next one is Charisma Cell 1. If Brother Jeffrey invited you, or you yourself, you have seen anybody there, or any of your members invited anybody. Can you wave? You are invited by Brother. Nobody yet. So we should move on. Okay, let's clap for him. At least he is here. <laughs> Dominion Cell. That is Brother Simon, who is also the chairman for this program. Let's clap for him. 
Is there anybody that came by Brother Simon or Dominion Cell or any member from Dominion Cell? Okay, please stand up. Awesome. That's nice. I'm seeing, including the, the baby is also a soul. So including the baby, we have six of them now. Seven. Where is the other one? Let me tell you, these souls I'm talking about, it includes those of you that have not been in chair for a long time. But the cells worked on you to come. It's part of it. Because this a woman of God, she's already a member. But she's standing up. But I'm still counting her. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another word. Where is the person? No, we will not count Abigail. She, okay, so um, um, women of words said there are five. Then, yes. Is, yeah, how many? Is that you are not sure? You have to be sure. I, don't, I will count as seven. They are the back there. But they, they, they then go and bring them. Because I don't want to cheat. I don't want to be very clear. Otherwise, you let's write seven. When they come, we will add it. All right. Then we will add it. Don't worry. That is ambassador cell. Let's clap for them. Come forward. Come forward. Anybody, Sister Charity invited, or if you have seen any of them, or any of your members invited, can you wave your hand, Sister Charity? Okay, please stand up. Stand up as you wave. You are from ambassador. Please wave your hand and stand up. Stand up. Your cell can win the award. They are at the back. I will give you one minute. You can go and tell them. If you are here, you can go and ask them to stand up. I'll give every cell just 30 seconds. Please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm not talking about very, very committed members. I'm talking about those who have not been in church and very first timers. Please let's be fast. We have to close now. I'm counting on. I have two now. All right, let's move on. If they get, we'll add. Supernatural. Sister Ivy and her members. Anybody that came from Sister Ivy? Please stand up. I'm seeing that. Let's clap for them. Wonderful. 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 Oh, awesome. Supernatural. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. I'm seeing four. Powerful. Is that all? Okay, you write the four. Thank you. Brother Samuel, impact cell. Anybody, brother, someone invited? Yes, stand up. Including the schools. Hold on, we'll talk about it, don't worry. We'll talk about it. Can you stand up again? Hey, brother, someone invited you. Can you come for me, please? I'm seeing about seven of them. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Are they all from the same school? So we have 12 for you. Thank you. Mr. Pensa, the men's fellowship. Anybody that came from the men's fellowship or Mr. Pensa invited? We have great people here. Not yet. Okay. Mr. Bosu, not yet. Okay, next time. I know you, you do it. Women of strength and power. <laughs> anybody Auntie Roberta invited? Uh, Auntie Betty invited? Or anybody from? Okay, stand up, please. This church is a soul winning church. So we focus on impact for soul winning. I'm seeing three. Three. There's one there. If you don't mind, you can go and call him. When the person can, we will add. But it's three now. Charisma cell two, brother David. Anybody from brother David? Not yet. Okay, so those of you that didn't bring at all, or we didn't see anybody yet, can you go and sit down first? We have not seen anybody yet. Go and sit down. Yeah. They will look at the top ones. Then, um, okay, Auntie Roberta. Those of you that came from Sister Jackie, Prestigious ladies from Musuku Church, Sister Jackie or Auntie Roberta, can you all stand up? Yes, please stand up. You came from Kwabenya or Musuku Church. All of you should stand up. 
Yes. Okay. 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 Eh? But you have tried. Let's clap for them. That's about how many? Because we are not supposed to count the old members, actually. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Then, Brother Abraham. Okay, I think you should be part of the Wesley Gorm. You invited some people. Okay, Abraham, come. Pastor Sel from Musuku. If you came from um, Brother Abraham from Musuku Church. Okay, please stand up. Brother Evans and the wife. If, yes, if Evans invited you, please stand up. See, you can see that every cell is doing something. Let's clap for them. Thank you very much. So, obviously, the awards can go for just one person. So, those of you that brought three to five, can you, stand, can you sit down? You brought, I have a special award for you, though, three to five. But next time, you can pull stronger. Three to five. Faith cell. I've not mentioned you. Oh, sorry, because you are writing. Anybody that came from Faith cell, Brother Stephen, or anybody from his cell, Brother Stephen. Okay, I'm seeing a lady there. Okay, three of them, four of them. Uh huh. Please stand up. Brother Fimba as well. Okay. So, how many are they? Including a baby? Five. Six. Including the baby will be six. Oh, seven. That's fine. So the top cells here. How many are your members? Okay. Now I'll give Simon the opportunity. Please sit down. If you have some schools, because you are talking about it, are they here? Or orphanage? Okay. So May I know, may I, I want to welcome the leaders of the orphanage group that came. Please, can you come? I know Brother Sam, uh, Nyaminsa, right? And which one? Madam Lydia. That's Tiolov, Tiola um, Orphanage. Then which one? Yeah, please, Nyaminsa, please come. Project Nyaminsa. How many of you are coming from uh, Madam Lydia? Where's Madam Lydia? Is she around? Okay. Who is representing the Chiolak Foundation? Please come. The truth of this matter is that, are you listening to me? These two orphanages, I invited them. That is the truth. And I told Simon to call them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so which, which is which? Let Okay. Yes, yes, hold on. The, one of the leaders is saying that he did the job. So we are going to do something. How many people did you bring, please, in total? 55. How many from you? 22 from Tiolak. How many are your students? 12. Okay. Now I'm going to divide... Simon's own into three. So, 55 divided by three. Let's be fast. Stevie, how many people did you bring? Seven. So, Stevie can sit down now. But let's clap for him. He qualified to be the top three. 17.7. Plus yourself. Plus that your seven. And then you have 12. Okay. The two of them actually, their work is not too difficult. Because we arrange for the school and they work on them to come. If you tell me you're going to pay their transports, you get the award. <laughs> so, so, but I really think that the chairman deserves it. So, what we'll do is, I'll give Brother Samuel a cash prize. But, 
the top soul winner or cell for EMS. Let's welcome Dominion Cell. Thank you. Where are the members of Dominion Cell? Let them come. Yes, yes. Come, 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 come. You have tried. When I told them to come, if they didn't follow up on them, they won't come. Uh -huh, so they deserve it. Let's clap for them. Thank you. Congratulations. I know if the chairman did not win this award, it would have cut off my head. So my head will not be cut off. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Sam. You have a cash prize. Now, let's welcome, with a round of applause, the last, <laughs> give it to Sir Jackie, the top partner for general partnership, not for this program. Healing School, Rhapsody, all the top Pastor Chris partnership programs. It's a huge one. They started giving from December. All the way from Cape Coast. Let's welcome Mr. and Mrs. Damali. Please come with your children. They are the top partners for the first. Let's all stand up as we welcome them. You are not familiar with them because they are in Cape Coast. And the truth is that as at now, keep clapping for them. They deserve it. They have given almost 20,000 so far. Yes. Yes. And you know that they deserve it. They gave about 6,000 for uh, healing school in December, then 5,000 for Rhapsody. Then I think ministry programs as well. Please come this way. So they are in Cape Coast, but they are pushing things. So they decided to come and celebrate with us. And he has been the top partner for the church for three consecutive years. Let's clap for them. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Damali. Thank you. You will do much more. God bless you. Let's take a picture. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's clap for them. Thank you. All right. Please, you may be seated. Thank you. In December, we are going to have the full awards night and dinner. So the ball is in your court. Full award. That when we come to church, it's just awards and eating. You just be eating and you are taking award. This one is just a small part of it. So on this note, I want to thank all of you that made time Thank you, Sister Jackie. God bless you. May have your seat. Let's clap for Sister Jackie. She is the coordinator for West Legon Musuku Church. Clap for her. Anytime I don't go to Kwabanya, she handles the service for me. She's an awesome woman. Hallelujah. At this moment, can you wave your healing to the nation's magazine, the gift you have in your hand? Please wave it. Everybody. Please, I want you to hey, wave it. Everybody should have a copy. Wave it. Wonderful. And I would like to officially close the service. Then all the children, all the students, is the popcorn ready for the adults? Is it ready? Please, can I get feedback, please? We wanted to give at least every adult a popcorn. If an adult and they still want to join to eat the children's food, you can still wait. All right. But there are two meetings I'm going to have now. I'm going to have a send portion meeting for all the children that came and also a first timers meeting. So all those coming to the church for the very first time, please, have you given them the cards? The first timers? Okay, please, let's do it again. One more time. If today is your first time coming to this church, can you just wave your hands? Coming to the church. Just wave your hand. And please, can you get a card for them? I want you to fill the card with your name so that I can call you personally. All right? Wonderful. And then, we are going into the eating time. Can we stand to our feet as we close? I am the number one soul winner. All the schools, all the orphanages, 
all the chiefs, I brought them. But I can't give award to myself. Do you understand? I'm also the top partner. I don't want to tell you. you see, sometimes it's not necessary. Hold on. Sometimes it's not necessary. But other times it's necessary. Everything on the altar, every new thing on the altar, I bought it. Every new thing you see on the altar, the fans, the awards, the carpets, and I paid for many of the things. The food they are doing, I paid for it. I paid for it. Cash, cash down. I spent more than 5000 to pay for the Healing to the Nation magazine you are holding. I spent another 5000 for the children materials. So this program alone, and I'm still going to pay for the transport for the program. So I want you to join me. The program is not over yet. I bought this pulpit as well. All right? All the program banners and the flyers, over 1,000 flyers, I paid for it. I just want you to have an idea. It's not too necessary, but I want you to know why I can tell you I'm the top partner. So I think you should stretch for your hands and pray for your pastor. Pray for your pastor for multiplied grace to do much more. To do much more. Yes. I receive your blessings. I receive your prayers. And I multiply it back unto you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless you. You are living here full of God's blessing. Your life has changed forever. Your healing is sure. By the power of the Holy Spirit, every blessing that was announced on you, it shall stay. Every revelation that you received in the word of God, you shall walk in that revelation. And you multiply in that revelation. Go and prosper. Go and do well in all your ways. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus.